Alright guys, so I haven't done much fitness content on my page recently and that's because my workload is really starting to pile up and whatnot so I'm actually only in here like four times a week but um, I thought I'd give you guys a raw workout so if you're not into fitness probably just click away but if you are you're probably gonna like this because I really changed up my training style and I have a lot of new insights these past like three four months so um, today we're doing chest and back I used to never do chest and back but just because I can, I only come in four times a week now, so I want to make hit upper body as, as much as possible. Um, so I usually have a chest and back hypertrophy day, which is what we're doing today, and then a chest and back compound day. So um, we're running it through the Athlete app. It's a company I started working with, and it's cool. Like it, I can track everything, make notes and whatnot. So I'll run you guys through the workout, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. First, we're starting off with closed grip dumbbell press. I just want to do things that will shock my body, not as um, not as conventional, and I'm moving away from just, like, I'm trying to move away from cables, I'm trying to do mainly free weight, uh, some calisthenics work, and some body work, so, um, and as well as powerlifting, so, yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so with that exercise, I like to supinate in, works more of your inner chest. Alright guys, so this is probably one of my favorite back exercises. Quinton, if you're watching this, which you probably are. I picked this up like three months ago. It's, um, I used to have no idea what the fuck to do with TRXs. Quinton showed me this exercise. Basically, it's, a, it's all to do with gravity. Um, there's a different, there's a different variation on the like jungle rows where you literally just swing your feet up, hook them over the top. Um, but this is probably like the less crazy version. TRX, put your feet up. The higher your feet up, the higher that up, that is, the harder it is to pull. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite back exercises nowadays. Alright guys, so this is probably my favorite chest exercise. Now, one thing about my chest is, I don't know, somewhere along the lines, one side got a lot more prominent than the other. So I like to do a lot of like one-sided unilateral exercises. This also works out your abs and your core like crazy. I might as well just like show you it. It's um it's definitely tough. I can only do probably like six each side and uh, it takes a lot of balance. Definitely give this a go if you haven't. Just mix up your training style is all I can say. I've been training for like a year and a half at this point and you just get bored. I've done powerlifting, I've done like proper bodybuilding. Now I'm just trying to mesh the two together as well as some body weight, body weight stuff and uh, a lot of functional work. I love it. We're doing like a little small circuit after this. I still like really explosive movements. Like you won't see me doing 30 reps for abs, like different ab circuits and shit like that. That's just, that's just not really my training style. So we're doing ropes, around 15 reps. Um, if we had heavier ropes, probably do less, but ropes. Uh, and then we're going straight into tire flips. I go to a pretty commercial gym, so I don't have like any badass equipment, uh, like an LA Hulse or anything like that. So I just kind of do with what I have, but um, yeah, that's four times. Let's get into it.
guys, so the last success we're gonna finish off with is another one of my favorites. Um, ever since I started, I, I've had like a real problem with my chest for a long time. So ever since I started doing pullovers and um, chest dips, it's gone a lot better. So um, yeah, we're gonna do chest dips. Focus on, um, don't go below 90 degrees because then you're leaving your elbows in a vulnerable position. But if you can pause at the bottom, that's great. Uh, if you can't, just try and rep out as many as you can do. Alright guys, so that was my workout. Um, just basically to summarize, as I said, right now I'm training four times a week. My style is trying to mesh a couple different things in together. Um, and I'm just focusing more on health, because to be honest, I have worked really, really hard for my physique and where I'm at health-wise, but I could probably, like I could probably go twice a week um, and still maintain my same physique. I could probably eat whatever, and I've actually tested this. When, it seems like when I eat more unhealthy, I just get leaner and bigger at the same time, probably because of the amount of sodium. So yeah, right now, I'm just focusing on health. And uh, one book that I definitely recommend you guys go check out is Ultramind Solution. Completely changed the game for me. Ultramind Solution, and then another book called uh, 21 Ways to Sleep Smarter. Those two books together just, I feel so much energized and whatnot. And um, another pro tip um, for most of you guys, and I say that Lewis is filming right now, the same, I say the same thing to Lewis is, Think about the return on investment in going to the gym. Because the problem with a lot of people is, look, I, I love going to the gym. I'd go every single day if I could. But the thing is, unless you're becoming a personal trainer or a fitness model or a fitness influencer, your physique, you, you won't get a good return on investment on your physique. Whereas if you, if you spend that time going to the bookstore or um, whatever, studying whatever your niche is, you're gonna get a much better return on investment. So I've actually had to, I mean, I used to go like six, seven times a week. Now I'm only going four. I've had to force myself to only go four and just maximize the time. With everything in life, just try and maximize your time. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like the gimbal off the cuff video a bit longer. Let me know below what you think of it. Um, I know I kind of moved away from fitness for a while, uh, but it's still something that's a big part of my life I'm very passionate about. So let me know below if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll cue the outro in three, two, one. Hermes Link.